Hi guys, it's me again, Fly Me FPV, and uh, what I have here is a D6 Pro Smart Charger from Hota, H-O-T-A. Uh, this is the box. They don't want to do an unboxing because there's really nothing in the box but manual AC power cord and a sticker. So let's go on to the charger itself. This is a smart charger. Uh, with a wireless charging um, feature here on top. I don't know if you could see the icon there, but you put your phone there. If it's capable of wireless charging, it will charge. This charger is dual channel, meaning there's, you know, you could plug in two parallel boards or charge two batteries plugged here, uh, which uses an XT60, and that's the balance port. And it can be configured to be you know charge independently meaning settings on channel 1 and channel 2 can be set independently there is a wheel or as Hoda describes it it's called a speed shuttle key but I'll, I'll call it a wheel and a channel button channel button you press and then you go to a specific channel upper left hand corner you single press the wheel and that gives you the options now the options here are pretty straightforward if you used a smart charger before this is not pretty complicated to figure out you have charge discharge storage balance i think balance is uh it balances the cells uh before it does a full charge now i need to warn you about that because if you use that because your cells are like way off, very unbalanced, you might have a bigger problem. So check your battery first before you know using or charging it using that option. I'll keep this a charge. Battery type, there's a bunch there. High voltage, LiPo, lithium ion, FE. You can even do metal hydride, cadmium, and antelope. Any loop, I don't know what that is, but I'll keep it at LiPo. Not li LiPo. <laughs> Cell voltage, of course, uh, we use 4.20. If you change this to lithium high voltage, you could go to 435. But uh, unless you're charging, you know, whoop batteries, cell voltage will be kept at 4.2 in my situation. Cell count, I only have, uh, I mainly use, or I have for my 5 inches, are 6S 1300 uh, milliamp hour packs. And the current rate uh, charge setting is maximum of 15 amps. Now, you see here 650 watts. This is not 650 watts per channel. This is for both channels, so it's 325 watts per channel. I didn't read the manual, but when I start testing the you know, charge capabilities, I cannot hit 650 and then I found out it's actually written there 325 times 2 at input voltage 24 volts now With these numbers uh, What happens is that where whichever you hit first so when I start charging or test charging six oh sorry five six s 1300 milliamp hour packs at 15 amps. I was not able I was not able to hit 15 amps I was limited at 13 point something and you know I did some investigation did the math using the Ohm's law and that is the case because I'm hitting 325 watts first so just to be aware if you're getting this charger um, it's either or it's either you hit 325 watts per channel or 15 amps now I don't know if you will be able to achieve 15 amps. Maybe if you uh, increase the input voltage, this can take up to 30 volts. I only have access to 24 volt uh, power supply, so um, that's the only thing that I can test. Anyways, going back, start task. It's basically gonna start the charging uh, process on that channel and back. Now, if you set a setting on any channel it will propagate to the other channel unless you start the charging process on that channel and then move on to the next channel then you can set the setting for that channel I was kind of thrown off 
uh, earlier when I was doing my test charging because uh, when I was setting this all up why let's keep on you know propagating to the next channel which my intention was to use a different uh, charging setting but anyways I found that out the hard way and now I'm sharing it with you now again channel now we go to channel 2 and you know you set this is the same as how you set the other one single click and then change your setting see it's already set at 15 amps because I set channel 1 at 15 amps but when that starts charging this can independently be changed to whatever setting you want so that's it for channel change the setting now if you want to go to the system setting you do uh, long press and it takes you to this uh, window which is the charger settings task parameters I will not go through that it's pretty self explanatory now the trickle charge I I turned this off because I think this is for uh, lithium ion packs so I just turned it off hit back uh, calibration I didn't go uh, through that because it's I think it's a very cumbersome process where you have to put the codes but anyways system parameters you know it's minimum input voltage high backlight now I changed this to medium but it doesn't look good on video see that so I kept it at high however the uh, wireless charge is turned on volume I turn it to middle because high is too loud for me there you go device name uh, you know you can set it to whatever you want however when you're done make sure you do a long press if you don't do that you go back to the default which is kind of annoying because go if you have a long name then you have to do it all over again and I click back factory settings we're not gonna do that system self check is basically what happens when you turn this on or put uh, input voltage you go to a self checking uh, process uh, which takes a few seconds and uh, yeah you're good to go there you go no error factory settings we don't want to do that system info hardware software and serial number so yeah uh, it's pretty straightforward what I do like about this charger specifically is the feature of having an AC option might not be much but you know this is good if you are uh, in the field or racing or and they have a power source then you don't have to be, I don't have to bring my uh, my clunky uh, HP server power supply I could do this because 200 watts for me charging packs uh, 6s1300 is more than enough so yeah that basically that's it from a setting and feature whatever for point of view so now we're gonna do a test charge uh, I'm gonna try to show you how uh, the 325 and 15 amp is either or I may not be able to achieve 15 amp uh, charging current but I certainly can achieve 325 watts and that's why you will see less than 15 amps uh, as a charge rate it's just you know that's what ohm's law is you calculate and whoever comes first okay all right so I have six six oh, sorry five six s packs being charged by this charger at 15 amps but if you notice we're only hitting 13.5 amps and this is what I'm uh, wanted to clear there's videos out there Joshua Barton had a video on explaining how amps watts and volts work so as I mentioned earlier in the video this is 325 watts on DC per channel so if you do the math uh, to get the wattage that we're pumping out 13.5 times my uh, supply which is 24 volts you're hitting pretty much above you know the 325 watt limit per channel so if you don't hit that 15 amp um, maximum uh, charge rate uh, do the math uh, use the Ohm's law and calculate the wattage you're most probably hitting the watt limit uh, before the amp limit on your uh, charger 
All right, one of the features too of this uh, charger is this, uh, I don't know if you can see the icon there, but you could wirelessly charge a phone or any phone that has wireless charging cap capabilities. From my re research, I think it's outputting five watts on, on wireless. So I tested it, it kind of charged, one, um, this is an iPhone X, it charges 1% per about five, seven minutes. So um, it's not as fast as, uh, you know, wide charging, but yeah, it's a good thing to have. Now on the side also has USB and it has 2.1 amp so you know if that is not fast enough for you as long as you have the charging cable for your phone you can plug it there you can suck 2.1 amps from there. Now there's also a micro USB here um, I think that would be to you know, update the firmware or something. So one of the things too that I noticed when I was charging is the fan is always on. I don't think it has some sort of a, or it doesn't you know, uh, it doesn't suck more air or spin faster when you're charging. It's just constantly on. So it might not have, you know, those thermal sensors that uh, other chargers have that the fan automatic kick in, kicks in when it uh, reaches a certain uh, heat threshold. Uh, this charger retails for 150 something Canadian dollars at SN Hobbies. So I think it's a very good charge, especially for uh, it has AC capabilities at 200 watts. I actually tested that. Uh, unlike the DC, wherein it can um, output 325 or 650 total each channel and 15 amps per channel on the AC side when it's plugged in, um, it will share it. So basically, two channels will share a 200 watt output. So guys, that's the uh, D6 Pro from Hoda. It's a dual uh, channel charger that has a power supply that can crank up 200 watts and also a DC uh, input that can provide 15 amps or 325 watts per channel. Um, yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you do want to see more videos uh, please do subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that bell button over there so you get notified for future videos that i upload to my uh, channel thank you very much till the next uh, video